Hey, this is Randy Hunter, and I wanted to create a series of beginning sacks tips, you know, questions and answers, those kind of things. So if you, uh, if you have any questions, uh, if you're a beginner and you have any questions, drop me a note and I might try to use your question in one of these videos, you know, questions, concerns, um, those sorts of things. It can be basic. It can be anything from tone production, articulation, uh, equipment, any, any kind of thing. You know, I might use your question in one of these videos or either way, I'll be sure to get back in touch with you. Okay. So, uh, and if you're a more advanced player, be sure to check out my uh, Jazz Sax Quick Licks and Tips series of videos. Okay, now in this first video, in this first um, session, I'd like to cover one of the things that's really important to all saxophone players, and that's how do you get a better tone, you know, especially from the beginning. Um, you know, one of the things that draws us all to the instrument is the sound of the saxophone. So if we're not happy with our tone, then we're just not going to be happy as sax players. So let's talk about some of the things that really affect the tone quality for beginners. Now, you know, things like the way you've got your mouthpiece set up, uh, the reed, those sorts of things are very important. And if you check out my beginning sax series of lessons, I've got uh, I've got one just, just on assembling the instrument. So make sure you go through that. We're not going to cover those kind of things right now. But, um, you know, um, make sure that you've got your, your reed set up. It's wet. Uh, all the way through both 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 ends of the reed, those sorts of things. Make sure you've got the tip adjusted so that it's even with the tip of the mouthpiece. All, um, you know, squared side to side on the bottom of the on the on the mouth with the bottom of the mouthpiece. Those kind of things. And again, that's all covered in my uh, in my saxophone assembly video. Um, but really, what I want to talk about are the, are the physical things that are involved in creating a good sound. Now we're, we're really looking to achieve getting the air to go from the gut through the air column and through the instrument. Now, you know, that's obvious I would think, but a lot of people have the st try to blow to the instrument and expect the instrument to take over at that point and create the sound and that's you know if you if you think about it that's an obvious um, kind of thing that you would uh, an obvious approach you might take as a beginner blow to the instrument get the reed vibrating and let it take over now the problem with that is we have a tendency to bite off the reed we have a tendency to squeeze to get too tight those sorts of things so let's talk about how we can avoid that first of all the embouchure, you know, the embouchure, and that refers to the mouth muscles, the shape of the mouth, all of those sorts of things. And there are different kinds of embouchures that you'll use at different stages of your development. So as you as you play longer and start getting good control over this basic embouchure, um, you can go into more advanced embouchure concepts, which I can help you with later on. But right now, the thing we want to do is just roll a bit of lip over the over the teeth and not squeeze too tightly as we play. Be careful not to bite. One of the things a lot of uh, folks do when they're having difficulty getting a good sound is I'll see them kind of scrunching the chin up and biting way too hard on the bottom. Now that can uh, that can affect the air going through the instrument. That gives you kind of the thing like if you're blowing up a balloon and uh, a common analogy that we want to use is like maybe you're fogging up a pair of glasses so you keep the throat open and the mouth somewhat relaxed now you don't want to keep it relaxed to the point that the cheeks are puffing out we don't want that we want to keep the cheeks in so you want to have a bit of focus inward the teeth kind of pulled down a little bit so that you're not biting too hard on the bottom and then you should be able to breathe deeply and blow through the instrument and get a nice relaxed sort of sound. Now I've got my alto sax over here. I'm going to grab my alto too so that you can hear on alto and I just played a G on tenor. I'll play a G on alto also. Um, but again, I'm breathing deep, getting there way down deep into the gut. I'm blowing, I'm keeping the throat relaxed and blowing through the instrument. And you can hear it's a pretty warm sound. It's not a strained kind of sound. So I'm, uh, I'm keeping everything nice and relaxed in the throat. I'm keeping the focus in the corners of the mouth without squeezing and without biting too hard. 
Now I'll play a G scale for you. That's one of the first things you learn on the saxophone. In my beginning saxophone series, in the first couple of lessons, first two or three lessons, we, we're, you know, I'll have you playing some things like the G scale and some other stuff. But um, so I'll play the G scale for you, and I want you to listen to how I'm going to keep the tone nice and relaxed as I go from low G up to high G, and I'll play it kind of slowly. <laughs> And there I played a few notes around on the G scale, you know, just a little bit of, you know, very simple improvisation, but I'm working at keeping the throat relaxed, the embouchure focused in, but still a little bit relaxed, the lower lip pulled over the teeth, and blowing through the instrument rather than to the instrument. Now, another thing that can affect the sound, if you're, if you're trying all this and it doesn't really seem to be working well for you, um, maybe you're not getting to the sweet spot on the reed. And again, in my beginning sax series, I cover exactly how to try to locate that sweet spot. But, you know, um, you want to find the part of the reed that really gives you the best sound. If you if you get too much mouthpiece in your mouth, you get a little bit too far up on the reed, then you get a honky, quacky kind of You can hear that's kind of honky, quacky, kind of nasty sounding. Um, if you get out too far on the tip of the reed, then you start closing the reed off and you get... Let's see how I'm having a hard time getting the air through the horn. So I'm going to get right to the sweet spot of the reed because I know exactly where it's at. <laughs> So there, I'm getting that sweet sound through. Uh, on uh, hopefully, hopefully you consider it sweet. I think it's pretty sweet sound myself. So uh, I found the sweet spot on the reed, and that's what I'm after. Now, the other thing that uh, affects the tone a lot of times is people either blow too easy or too hard. So uh, I don't like to think of blowing hard. Sometimes I'll think of blowing faster air. But when you think of blowing hard, a lot of times that makes you tighten things up because you know if you're doing something hard you're squeezing hard you're getting too tight now if you're not putting enough air into the horn you're not getting the reed to vibrate um, well so you end up with uh, with issues there so the things that I want you to work at is you're trying to get the best sound possible breathing deep keeping the embouchure focused but relaxed the teeth roll the lower lip rolled slightly over the teeth remember the top teeth go on the mouthpiece blow through the instrument with a relaxed feel, working to find, make sure you're on the sweet spot of the reed, and working to find just the right amount of air that gives you the best tone quality. Okay, hopefully this video will help you look for ways to improve your sound. Now, I've got a beginning saxophone series of lessons. I hope you'll consider studying with me. So go to beginningsax.com, www.beginningsax.com, and look up my beginning sax lessons, and um, drop me a note if I can help out. Okay? Have fun.